I start working at the Fel Techniques in my last year of studies at Vilnius Tech University. And then I knew exactly that I want to become an NDT engineer. And here I am. I'm working at FL Techniques more than 10 years. And I want to say, this is my dream work. I still feel the thrill and excitement when I enter the hangar. And this amazing view, this airplane surround, and people all special pulling, it take my breath away. And the smell, you cannot compare to anything else. And the main important thing, I um, always know that I am a part of something amazing. I'm a part of safe aviation and safe the travels of passengers. We can start from the description. NDT, it's a non-destructive testing, which means that we can perform inspection on parts and materials without damaging them without disassembling structures to gain access into internal areas. Also, NDT allowed to detect two small cracks, which cannot be detected just by visual means. On a daily basis, we use uh, five main NDT methods. It's uh, eddy current and ultrasonic testing. It's uh, dye penetrant and magnetical particle testing. Also, thermography testing. And all these uh, methods require uh, theoretical knowledge and uh, practical experience, understanding how to use different equipment. And especially edifferent and ultrasonic, it requires to use uh, a lot of different uh, probes, uh, producers, reference standards. And uh, we know that uh, when we perform an NDT inspection, we should be concentrated, not dreaming about holidays, because uh, we should find the defect. It's uh, life or death. I often catch myself thinking it is a pure luck to work at aviation, or I actually have to put uh, loads of efforts to be here and I think it both but I'm extremely lucky to do what I really love and uh, to have all these supportive aviation professionals all my colleagues uh, who makes me celebrate each day at work and usually we laugh with our colleagues about specific of our job when we need to get in tiny spaces like uh, full tanks or to perform inspections right on the top of the aircraft, it's our job. We are doing everything right because it's not comfortable for us. And uh, in aviation, we never stop learning. Uh, we have a lot of courses and trainings to learn how to use uh, new innovative tools and aviation does not allow to stand still. I would say it doesn't matter if you are a woman or a man, it doesn't matter if you are from city or from small town, the studies at university, the main thing is the passion for aviation. And if your eyes are longing for the sky and you love to look at the airplanes, you can become an amazing aviator. You just have to wish.